Hello again, it's Chris here, and I will be your host. As always, we have the latest in financial news, so let's see what we have here. What are insurance premiums? You may have purchased a six-month policy, which would make your insurance premium $1,272. How insurance premiums work. Then, based on your personal information and location, you may have discounts that are added to the base premium that reduces your cost. In order to get preferred rates or more competitive or cheaper insurance premiums, additional information is used. If the insurance company decides that it wants the insurance premium paid up front, it may also require that. An insurance premium may be considered taxable income to you in certain cases. For example, coverage for group term life insurance that exceeds $50,000 and is carried directly or indirectly by an employer. The National Association of Insurance Commissioners Guidelines or your State Insurance Commissioner's Office can provide you with more information on your local regulations if you have a question about fees or charges on your premium. The cost of your insurance premium will vary depending on the type of coverage you are looking for, as well as the risk. What factors determine an insurance premium? An insurance premium is usually determined by four key factors. For example, when looking at premiums for home insurance, if you purchase an open perils or all-risk coverage home insurance policy, it will be more expensive than a named perils home insurance policy that only covers the basics. Whether you are purchasing life insurance, car insurance, health insurance, or any other insurance, you will always pay more premium, more money, for higher amounts of coverage. It's pretty straightforward. The more dollar value you want to insure, the more expensive the premium will be. Your insurance history, where you live, and other factors of your life are used as part of the calculation to determine the insurance premium that will be charged. Some companies use insurance scores, which can be determined by many personal factors, from credit rating to car accident frequency or personal claims history, and even occupation. These factors often translate into discounts on an insurance policy premium. In order to be competitive, insurance companies will determine what the profile of clients they want to attract is, and they will create programs or discounts to help attract their target clients. For example, one insurance company may decide that it wants to attract seniors or retirees as clients, while another will price premiums to attract young families or millennials. If an insurance company decides that it wants to aggressively pursue a market segment, it may deviate rates to attract new business. This is an interesting facet of insurance premiums because it may drastically alter rates on a temporary basis or on a more permanent basis if the insurance company is having success and getting good results in the market. Who decides the insurance premium? Every insurance company has people who work in various areas of risk assessment. Actuaries, for example, work for an insurance company to determine. Using the calculations, actuaries determine how much cost will be involved in paying claims as well as how much money the insurance company should collect in order to make sure it makes enough money to pay potential claims but also make a profit. The insurance company has to collect the premiums from many and make sure it saves enough of that money in liquid assets to be able to pay the claims of the few. The insurance company will take your premium and put it aside, letting it grow for every year you don't have a claim. Why do insurance premiums change? In profitable years, an insurance company may not need to increase insurance premiums. In less profitable years, if an insurance company sustains more claims and losses than anticipated, then it may have to review its insurance premium structure and reassess the risk factors in what it is insuring. Examples of insurance premium adjustments and rate increases. This could happen based on various personal factors, discounts, or location factors, as well as competition or loss experience of the insurance company. For example, if the insurance company actuaries review a certain area one year and determine that it has a low risk factor and only charges very minimal premiums that year, but then by the end of the year they see a rise in crime, a major disaster, high losses, or claims payouts, it will cause them to review their results and change the premium they charge for that area in the new year. By pricing the premiums in that area higher than before, people may change their insurance company. 
as the insurance company loses the clients in that area who aren't willing to pay the premium it wants to charge for what it is determined as the risk, the insurance company's profitability or loss ratios will likely decrease. Fewer claims and proper premium charges for the risks allow the insurance company to maintain reasonable costs for their target clients. How to get the lowest insurance premium when an insurance company's rates go too high all of a sudden, it is always worth asking your representative whether there is anything that can be done to reduce the premium. If the insurance company is unwilling to change the premium it is charging you, then shopping around may find you a better price. That concludes this reading on our brand new channel. I will be bringing you all the latest in crypto news, financial news, and financial related things. Also, if you are a new subscriber, comment below. I subscribed. A new thing we will do at the end of each video is drop a daily finance quote. Here goes a parting quote. Money is a terrible master but an excellent servant. P.T. Barnum. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time.